Retro Rampage. Today we're going to be playing Air Fortress on the NES. It's a uh, HAL Laboratories game, as you can see. So before they made Smash Brothers and shit, and cur other Kirby endeavors. And other Kirby endeavors. Evidence of planet form animal. Form animal. Lived in a peace since the establishment of spacing and formatting and typing <laughs> of the start. The spacing is just completely random. Yeah, somebody got pretty tab happy there. Federation of Intergalactic Powers organized the defense force. Big Federation forces were no match for the superior defenses of the air mattress. <laughs> <laughs> the mattress totally destroyed all the Federation forces. Oh look, his name's Hal Bailman. Bailman, that's cute. Hal. Hey, Destroy Hal. the fortress and save farm animal. Alright. Now, it does have a fucking password system. Nightmare is just as you could expect from an yep. early NES game. 97 characters long, I'd rather just play through the whole game again. But the basic premise of the game is it's actually like a two-part kind of game. You fly, it's like a shoot 'em up style. There's some weird guy in a onesie riding on top of a of a raft. Of like a yeah, it's like a it's like a, like a dust devil or something. Yeah, an orc. And then uh, when you get inside the fortress, it actually goes to like a running gun style platformer. You, it's uh, like yeah, it's like it's like a it's like a Metroidvania platformer. Like the first couple fortresses are fairly linear, but later on they get pretty fucking involved. And if you forget where you're at, you can like find the core to the fortress, destroy it, and then die because you didn't get out in time. So it does get pretty intense. Now I had this game as a kid, and I always loved it. Um, my dad can whoop this game's ass hardcore, like, he's better at it than I am. Uh, he actually got all the way through, beat all the eight fortresses, and then, in classic gaming style, it said, congratulations, but you missed one, one core, so now all eight fortresses are reactivating, try again. That bullshit. How, how did you miss a core, or just so happy? It's like, it's like, oh, try again on hard mode. Yeah, I got your hard mode right here. Now, as you can see, I'm collecting the E's and my energy goes up and the B's are bombs. You can't use the bombs in this mode, but you can use them in the indoor mode. They're like extra powerful. You need them because they can take out like the core and the mini cores as well pretty quickly. And you know, any tough enemies you may run into. Oh, you can't use the bombs here. That's why you were double tapping. I'm not crazy, you were double tapping. Yeah, I, I do a flutter finger technique on this part to I shoot faster without murking my thumb. Yeah, now I get the to go into the grade locker. The eighth grade gray locker. The Kanye elevator. <laughs> they had the shutter. <laughs> We're now entering the air mattress. Now this is where it gets like to a Metroid style. Like there's some, some open exploration and stuff. Now if you notice, when you're in here, everything takes energy. Like flying, walking, and shooting all take energy, but it, it regenerates when you stop moving. When you get hit, your maximum energy gets knocked down to like six, 680 or something. So, what you're actually doing is you, you have like a max energy walk. bar. Yeah. Fucking Rosie's cousins. Yeah. <laughs> Here come the screws. Corkscrews. <laughs> Ride. I, I will say, your, your character is very lame looking. Well, you gotta remember, this game came out in 87. Yeah, I'm just teasing. He has his little booties, he has a small bulge if you look at him <laughs> on the side. And he's yeah, like, he does. He's got like a hose does, over his he shoulder. Does, he does seem to be uh, fairly aroused. The <laughs> hose is his, heat in the air <laughs> fortress. Is his, uh, it's his weapon slash jet pack. It's actually a part of the ship that you fly. And he brings it with him, and that's why he that can shit. shoot and fly when you're inside. Um, and then also, if you notice, when you shoot, like, that that knocks you back and stuff. So, like, the inertia and shit is actually pretty, pretty interesting. Free. Yeah, yeah, here comes Butterfree. I think there's, like, two or three of them in this area. Yep, there's no one. There's moths in the air fortress. Pretty, pretty innovative little title the first time, considering, you know, back, you know, some of the, some of the crazier ideas for the nest didn't really hit till the late 80s for this. Was, uh, the yeah, this is, yeah, this is 87. So, I mean, this was pretty damn early on in the, in the nest lifestyle, so. This and game's it, relatively unknown. I mean, I don't know too many people that know I don't know too many people that know it either, but I mean, like, since I had it growing up, like, thinking about it, it's like, you know, the core more common wasted, to me. Lights out. Yeah, once you destroy the core, the lights in the fortress shut off, and you actually have a time limit to get to your ship. 
Now, this one kind of holds first, your hand. Yeah. yeah, since this is the first Air Fortress, it's right here, but I'll, I'll wait a little bit just so you can see. The creepy music starts, and then the screen starts to shake because the whole fortress is about to explode, and you have to get out in time. So in some of the later fortresses, if you forget where the ship is, or you get right to the core first and don't find where the ship is, uh -oh, you can actually run out of time after technically beating the level, and it then explodes. You're going down with the air fortress. Yeah, so it can get stressful. Get out your pepto And now you have your little it escape sequence. It looks like sequence. the sub-sea from Star Tropics. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, second air measures coming in. Queen size. We went to the twins of full. And now we go to a different uh, side-scrolling section. Now since it's early on, the side-scrolling section is pretty similar to the first one, but they have some, some other areas with like some different terrain designs and some different colors and everything. So, you know, they, they did what they could with their, you know, limited knowledge of the hardware at the Just time. The rods. Yeah, the NES was still pretty new, so, you know, you're not going to get crazy like Sunsoft graphics out of it, <laughs> but like... No, nah, it's still very. It has the weird that. like Cocoa Puff planets in the background, which they don't look like they're very well formed planets. Well, I think they're more like asteroids. Uh, meteorites. Well then, <laughs> see myself out. Yeah, they're kind of just floating there. Well, then there's an awful lot of asteroids floating around this place. Yeah, well, because, I mean, if you look at the images of the Air Fortress, like, they have, like... Like, it's like it's like a big floating, like, biodome just without fucking... Uh, what holy shore. What, what are the things at the end of SimCity 2000? The things you launch into space? Oh, right? um, fuck. I know exactly what they're called. Uh... uh Arcos. Yeah, the Arcos. The launch Arcos. Yeah, the launch Arcos, yeah. Yep. After SimCity 2000 got out of hand, you were sent to destroy the Air Fortresses slash Arcos. It's called, it, it, the, I think it's a fully called an Arcology or something. Yeah, shit. launch Arcology. Yes, yep. Because right. you get the ones that look like big... Uh, I just got false memories of Windows 3.1. <laughs> Praying that I could play SimCity 2000. And wow, I have never had 1,200 energy for this level, so I'm damn yeah. Fucking Cheerios, out of here. Poor format, compact discs. <laughs> and now we go to the second set of gym lockers. Right now let's enter the second air matches. Right into the Lola Vader. <laughs> see what troubles bring us here. Oh yeah, you know troubles are brewing. I mean, like, the, the tiles are fairly simple, but effective, you know? Like, so you can see, like, they've got, like, some shading and stuff in Yeah, there. at least you know where to go. Like, they don't, you know, some, some games, they either try too hard or they're too little, and yet... Yeah, sometimes, was, uh, yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes they're too muddled, sometimes they're too plain. This one's, like, a nice blend. Like, again, since it's such an early title, it's, it's kind of refreshing to see that they were kind of willing to, like, you know, do a little bit more compared to what was out. Because, I mean, if you look at Super Mario Brothers, that game is plain as fuck. Simple as shit. Like, it just like, oh yeah, let's just have like a big blue background. We'll put some, we'll put some fucking clouds in there to change it up a little bit. Give them a smiley face or some shit. I don't know. Here's the Gravitrons. Suck me down. Yeah, the robot. Go back to the Jetsons, you piece of shit. <laughs> You know, I think this guy's a trophy in, uh, in, uh, Melee. I wonder. I think it is. Hal Bailman. Hal Bailman. I believe he is a trophy. Maybe, if not, if not Melee, then in Brawl. But I'm pretty if sure anyone, Melee. If anyone, I stopped collecting trophies by the time I got Brawl. If anyone can confirm whether he's a trophy in either one of the Smash games, please do let us know in the comments, because I would really find that interesting. I'm, I'm pretty confident he's... I, you know what, and... It would he make sense. Familiar, yeah, it's a it's fucking HAL game, so yeah. you know, that, that, that entire this, game's a cameo. Oh uh, yeah, and like this is this is where they came from, so. Um But yeah, you know, this game's a lot of fun. Um, Cheap too, it's like what, oh, five, ten dollar This game. is yeah, this is like a five dollar game. This isn't gonna hurt you at all. This isn't gonna hurt 
and it's just, it's a really fun title, man. I mean, this is something that, like, even if you don't write down a password, like, you can pop it in, bust out a couple levels, and have a blast. You know? Because I, I fire this up every so often, I don't even write down passwords or any of that shit. I just, I just play it, enjoy. And one of these days, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna sit down and murk this game entirely. I'll get the, I'll get the awkward call on a Sunday, like, afternoon. When did you start? Yesterday. <laughs> All these things. So the oh, they they shoot the homing the, balls. Yeah, the, the, the red balls are homing. So you gotta watch out for those bad boys. The bomb nukes them. But you still gotta deal with it. You gotta deal with the homer. Take the lol Vader. Fun fun fact, when you're in the elevator behind the blinds, they can't hurt you. So you wait for them to shoot, you come out, and you light them up. That's called pervert status. Just sitting creepy sitting behind, behind the, blind. the blinds, peeking in on a yoga class. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> it's alright. I, 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 I really did have a surplus of health for this level. Still, so like I'm not even have... worried about it. <laughs> Mini cores. Yeah, those little cores, they're just there to be a pain in the asshole. Um, now, here's here's where you get a, a get a choice of where you want to go. It's where it starts. The left, the left, I believe, takes you to the ship. So I'm just gonna go here and clean out any. I'm gonna go right <laughs> We're back. We're gonna go right back in. Well, these enemies stay dead. That's nice. It's not like an auto respawner game where like you move two feet, everything just kills right back. There. Yeah, which is another surprising thing about the game that it keeps track of the enemies you kill. Cause I mean, like, look at like Ninja Gaiden and Rygar. Like those games, it's just infinitely respawning. Now saying you can only come here when you need to get the fuck out. So I think escape only would have been better wording, but only escape, I guess, gets the point across to yeah. only escape. Only escape. It's like no, you're not gonna ride this thing around here, but. You do your thing, you get the fuck out, and you come right back. Oh god, no. Oh do? god, what, what did do? I do? You the doom guy yourself. I'm a, I just got... Oh. Just wait. Yeah, I doom guyed myself. No, Why? I did it again! Patient prick! <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just managed to finagle that somehow. Finagle. <laughs> Buying all finagles. Shit. Can you mark them things? Um, they take this an inhuman, an, in <laughs> an inhuman amount of hits. Um, so yeah, and then there's another another set of corkscrews to make your way back home. I mean, of course, there's a mile three in airships. The misleading ones that no one ever uses. Yeah, because like they're they're worthless. Years to yeah, move. by the time by the time you get them moving, you can just you could have beaten the level seven times. Yeah, the trick with those little homing bullets is to try and get at an angle that they're gonna just clip a wall. But I obviously failed there. <laughs> and no. <laughs> nope, not leave. Yeah, now oh, here's rope. here's my little my little rival rival dude. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I I, I planted a bomb in his teeth. Now here's the core. So you light that up with uh, four bombs. That gets to work. Lights works. out, and then it's lights out. London. Another mini core. <laughs> Lava spawn. <laughs> trap. Oh god, damn you! Should never let Egon get in this place. <laughs> damn. <laughs> Harold Ramis. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the. He's the source of the. He's Air the Fortress. source of the Air Fortress. Upset about Ghostbusters three not never making the light of day, he decided to build a bunch of. Air oh Fortress. boy, now it's gonna get a little stressful because I know where I'm going. Run out of time. But, but that timer gets going, man, and 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 shit gets real. But here's my vent, I'm right there. Does it give you a warning before the place blows down, or are you just? It starts. Shakes? It starts shaking more violently, and that's oh, how you Christ. know. Yeah, it's. It's terrifying. Like, when I was, like, five playing this... That's stress. Yeah, that was stressful. Because, uh, yeah, like, the creepy music and the screen shaking, the lights went out. It was, like, early survival horror, for Christ's <laughs> sake. Made by HAL Laboratories. Huh. That's, well, that's 2D Air Force down and pretty good display of the game. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm 
I'm surprisingly Merc and Ass, considering I really haven't played this in a while. But here you can see, like, here you got, like, some different color and stuff. A yellow so they change it up. Yeah, they Gold. change it up a little bit. Golden crisps. <laughs> the fucking bear. <laughs> the bear with the blue sweater. <laughs> what's, that, what's that shit called? Sugar crisp, I think? No, it's golden crisp. Is it golden crisp? Sugar smacks it onto the frog. <laughs> Sugar s The frog with ADHD. <laughs> Listen, I don't know if I'm gonna be alone on this one, but have you ever been, like, dehydrated and you take a piss and it smells like fucking smacks? No. Dude, I'm Dude, I haven't you. sniffed a box of smacks. I haven't seen a box of smacks <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, sometimes, man, when you're fucking dehydrated, the fucking your piss will smell like smacks. I, I I hope to God there's one person out there that has also made this correlation. This level will not be called a golden crisp golden, golden crisp. shower. <laughs> golden as you can see, shower. as you can see there, I got the works. Now the Unknowns from Pokemon come out before they were even a fucking thought. It's the verbatim CDRs. <laughs> the fucking the 700 meg verbatims coming out. Get my E-Tanks. Ooh, that's a, that is a fucking hefty little, uh, yeah, There's a crunch there. berry up there. They're changing the color palettes up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this, this level is apparently a box of oops all crunch berries. <laughs> yeah. This little power-up gives you invincibility temporarily. It's a, it's a handy little, little thing. You don't get it very often, so... You know, don't bank on getting it. You're better off just learning the fucking level. Yeah, and as you can see, enemies evolve and start shooting and shit, but now I'm at, uh, locker number three. Bink. Boink. Park this shit right up here. <laughs> right into the Kanye Vader. No park zone. Third air mattress. Second with the golden shower. Yeah. They're coming right out of the gate at you this time. Oh yeah, yeah. The the oh, learning different. curve can be a little steep if you don't if you don't pick this one up quick. Um, first off, there's a problem. Second, <laughs> you know it's not going to forgive you. Yeah, there was a little um, Jedi training remote floating around there. So I mean, it's simple graphics, simple gameplay, but they had some really really cool concepts, um, like. The combined genres, like especially for being so early in the NES lifetime, was really impressive. And like, even when I was younger, I thought it was cool. Cause I was like, damn, there's like, you got a scrolling shooter and a fucking like Metroid-style platformer. Definitely worth five bucks if you're at a retro store and run out of options. Don't want to pick up some, you know, obscure. If you don't feel like dropping, yeah. If you something. don't feel like dropping, like. uh you know, a whole five dollars on some shit Madden game, you can pick this up and enjoy yourself instead. Was it T and C Surf Gorilla? What the hell is that? What's the, what the hell is that thing with the gorilla on the surfing game? Oh god. Game? Oh shit. It's like T and C oh, something. T and C skate shop right. or some shit. Yeah, skate surf and, and surf, surf or some I don't fucking know. Skate and surf or some shit. I don't know. It's terrible. Get Air Fortress instead. You'll yeah. thank me. Going up the fucking ventilation shaft. Ow! Can you how? Get out of there! Mini core already. Lighting shit up. So, and that last homing bullet, just to, just to, just to get you. It's like, oh yeah, you think you're smart. Yeah, fist yourself, that's what that is. Well, yeah, so this is the third fortress. There's, you know, eight in total. Uh, it's a it's a really fun game. Simple graphically, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's just plain fun. I mean, you get to blow shit up. You got the scrolling shooter segment. The graphics are pleasing, not intrusive. You know, it's, it's just an all-around pleasant game, which, you know, one could come to expect. I don't know where the exit is, so I just fucked myself. That's so cool. we can end this video with a terrible death. Yeah, with a horrible death. Because I am probably not gonna make it to where I need to get to in time. Yeah, how the how Bailman get? Yeah, he's dead. Hey, uh, hey, Rye, what's going on? Not much, man. Yeah, have you heard from uh Hal Bailman recently? Nah, yeah, he's dead. What? 
Yeah, he didn't get out of the third air fortress in time. He went down with the ship. The third air fortress? You know, the one that has the golden crisp golden shower theme going on? Oh, that one. The urine influenced oh, air fortress. Oh look, the butterflies followed me onto this screen. That, that's cute. I actually never knew they did that because I always killed them. So I actually learned something today about a game that I've owned for about. Oh, wow! Seven... Look at that! You actually holy got your crap! Ass out of the third one. Well, well kids, I wasn't expecting that. And it ended up. But we'll end it on a good note. <laughs> I beat the third air fortress. Like we said, game's cheap as balls. Pick it up. You can even find it on eBay. People have it for like three, four dollars. A lot of them you can even get it with like free shipping or cheap shipping. So I mean, if you can get it for a total of like eight dollars, you're 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 doing good. Fun game, interesting concepts, just plain fucking fun, Check cheap it out. as hell. Pick it up, add it to your collection, enjoy it. As always, come back for our next episode of Retro Rampage. Thank you for tuning in. Keep it old school. Peace.